Hi, I'm Bob Sweeney with the City of Juneau Cable Access Channel, here today with uh, Doug Miller, new head coach at Dodgeland. Welcome. Thank you very much. Glad well, to be here. Well, good. Um, here's a, I'll do a preview about the upcoming season. Um, first of all, let's talk about you, because you're the new coach. I'll give you a little bit of background to the City of Juneau residents. Uh, what is your background in football? Played high school football in Marinette. Went on to UW Lacrosse and uh, played a, tried playing a couple years of college ball. And after two shoulder surgeries and and an injured knee, uh, decided not to play anymore. And I was fortunate enough to be asked to stay on their staff at UW Lacrosse. Um, coached two years as an undergrad there, and then they kept me on as a graduate assistant. And I had my own position at the college level. I coach receivers. Worked for some some really good people, one of which is with the Packers right now. Um, and after that, I went to Clintonville for two years as an assistant. Um, from there, I came to Waterloo as head football and head track coach in 1981, and stayed there for 31 years. My last two years, I've been my son's assistant in football in Monroe, and then he's the head boys track coach, and I was the head girls track coach. Sounds like a lot of experience. A lot of years, yes. <laughs> All right, what position did you play? I was quarterback. All right. Yeah. Um, you were there on Roger Herring, was that lacrosse? Yes, Roger and I are, are pretty close. Yeah, good coach. All right, um, what brings you to Dodge Land? Well, when, when I retired, semi-retired from Waterloo, the plan was to maybe work a couple years with my son and keep my eye open for something that's within the vicinity of where my wife works, and she's a first grade teacher in Johnson Creek, and that I could continue coaching for a long time, hopefully, and while well, she's teaching at Crick, and I mean, I just, uh, the opportunity came, and I love the location. I've, I've always been intrigued to being over here. I've got friends that have been here in the past, and um, just enjoyed their time here, so it was, it was something that when I saw it was open, I was very, very interested right off the bat. So how are things going now that you're coaching here at Dodgeland? Things are going going very well. I mean, um, I was fortunate to, to be given this opportunity. Um, Mrs. Thompson, Mrs. Modaf, uh, Mr. Weiss, um, I'm going to be indebted with them a long time for giving me this opportunity. Uh, I just, I love what I'm doing. And, Things are going going very well. I've got uh, good guys to work with and great kids. So you like the, the situation you're in now. All right, good. Let's talk about the football team that you've got right now. Okay. Um, you're new to the to the team this year. Didn't know the guys coming in very well. You did get some video from last year, however, didn't you? Oh, yes. I got that from Mr. Sweeney here. <laughs> and and uh, was uh, that helpful? I've watched every game but our last game opponent for this year. Mm -hmm. So I've watched eight games and a scrimmage before we started practice, just to give me an idea of what other schools are playing against us, to get to know the kids a little bit, um, not so much to evaluate, but um, just to get a general feeling as if I was here somewhat last year. Okay. So, all right, talking about offense, what do you expect to run as your offense this season? Okay. Um, we'll probably run an offset eye. I mean, that's what we've been, been running. I, I think it fits our kids well. Um, we'll use uh, various formations with our receivers, some slot, some tight. Um, we'll motion with our wing back. We'll take our full back and, and we'll offset him either side of the ball, sometimes straight up, sometimes he can motion. And uh, try to give um, different looks even to the same plays. Have you gotten any kind of feedback from the players about how they look at the offense this year compared to what they were playing last year? Um, we haven't talked that much about, I mean, it, it's different than what they played last year, although against Marcus Ann, they did some eye formation things and looked very good doing it. And I was, and that was one of the later films that I watched. Um, and, and I was very pleased to see that because I had sort of in my own mind already committed to the, the eye with, with what I had seen talent wise. And then when I saw them do some eye plays, some series and things like that, and, and it just seemed to fit. We have some big linemen and, and some people that fit the eye well. And so I, I really haven't 
put the kids on the spot to, to compare anything, mm -hmm. but they're very comfortable with what we're doing. Right. Right, good. So who do you project to be your starter quarterback? Well, I, I think we're going to use two quarterbacks. Um, the first one is a senior, and his name is Matt Robinson. Um, Matt played last year the majority of the time, although he, he had some injury problems, and you know that opened the door for our next kid. But, but Matt's a good track kid. I mean, he's just a good athlete. He, he's smart. Um, so that's, that's one of the guys. I recall only one pass attempt so far. Here's number two. Quarterback may just keep it and go. He's got the first down. Nice job. Matt Robinson. Robinson has some running room, and he'll take advantage. Nice job. He's still on his feet at the 50. Oh, now he's going backwards. Make out who's on the left side there. There he's got Hummelmeyer, 45. Turns the corner, 50, first down. Nice. Not sure Forcom was ready for it. Looking for the deep ball out there. He's caught it. Trojans fired downfield. It's complete to Hummelmeyer. Fortunately, we have two. One at that position is pretty important. On the other being Joe Kane. Joe's our, timed our fastest. We had three kids run four six, and Joe was one of those three. Um, so he'll give us he'll give us a little more speed threat on some of our boot things. Um, he throws well on the run, and um, you know it's just great athleticism. Both kids are doing a nice job of competing with each other, and yet they're almost pulling for each other. And they're comfortable in the fact that they know they can play other positions and actually like other positions also. And that you know, let know that you know, we'll utilize you somewhere else while the other one's playing quarterback. So those are, are the two kids that, I, that I've been working with so far. So the idea is to get the best players on the field. Get the best players on the field. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty, pretty basic. Yeah. Yeah. All right, then uh, what about your other backs, say fullback? Fullback? Um, Taylor Rayom right now would be our starter. Now what grade is he? Taylor's a junior. Well, let's back up just a little bit. What, what grade was uh, Joe? Joe is a junior. Okay, so. So we got a nice combination of a junior, senior, okay. kids playing. Um, Taylor's a junior fullback. He's, I believe he'll be a very good runner. He seems to have a nice knack of finding the hole. He's, he's 5'8", 195, so he's low the ground. and. And a couple of people that have been out watching practice have been very impressed with him also. So, so he sort of sticks out. Um, um, Mark Craig. Now, what, let's okay. stay with uh, Taylor a little bit. Okay. Now, you say fullback. You talked about him running, but an important position, important skill of a fullback is blocking. Oh, yeah. Right. So uh, how do you see Taylor doing, fulfilling that job? Taylor will be a, be a good blocker. He is one of our more physical kids. And, and so far, my impression of him early is, is pretty on the money, Rip, because he's, he's blocking very well. He gives us a nice run threat. And he'll fill that fullback well. Okay. You have another one. We have another one or two. Um, Mark Cranky is a senior, and Mark can play a good fullback. He's also about 195 pounds. And, uh, he is also, he, so he's going to sort of rotate between the, the fullback position and the tailback position. And um, Mark's a, a good straight line runner and a pretty hard nosed, tough nosed kid, so um, he'll be able to do the blocking and, and 
carrying the ball. All right. Did you have another one? Um, no. Andrew Moan, sophomore. No, Andrew's a junior. Oh, no, Andrew. No. No, no, yeah, yeah. Andrew's a sophomore. Yeah, Andrew's a sophomore, yes. Yeah. And Andrew's about 195 pounds. And he's, they're all built very similar. And once we started, uh, you know, put, having the pads on and doing a little bit of contact, um, he's stuck out more and more every day. And so he gives us this great depth of a kid that can hit, that, that can fulfill the, the fullback spot. So, you know, in case Mark is playing tail and Taylor needs a rest, I have a, a third fullback mm -hmm. that I'm real comfortable with. All right, good. Tailback. Tailback. Um, right now our starter would be Jackson Seisser. And Jackson was a tight end last year. Um, but when I got hired and before I met Jackson, I just I looked at a kid that was the fastest kid in school. Um, Six foot, two hundred pounds, a wrestler, sort of fit my my mold as far as you know, imagining what a what a tailback in, in this offense you know might be coming out of here, and, um, and so it's been a little bit of adjustment for him because, but he will be very good. I'm I'm very confident of that. He's, um, he's he was our strongest kid in the bench press. Uh, he was in my summer weightlifting class and did a did a great job. I think he raised his bench. 45 pounds since the start of summer. So he's just starting to blossom as far as you know, his physicalness. Did you teach him how to uh, power clean? We do some, we did some power clean. Didn't do a ton of it, but we did do power cleans as part of our workout during the summer. Right. Yeah. Uh, and the other tailbacks? Um, that would be probably, you know, with, with Mark, Mark being able to play tailback, mm -hmm. the other guy that that could play tailback very well is Taylor. So you see your backs as interchangeable or intermixing yeah. occasionally depending we've been, on injuries or something like that. We've been playing them that way, especially early that, you know, when we run fullback trap, everybody's running fullback trap. When we run toss sweep, everybody's running toss sweep. Mm -hmm. All right. So that takes care of your backs. What about uh, wide out, uh, wide out or your split end? What about our wing back? Ah, oh, wingback, okay. Okay. Our wingback, um, and again, we're using two kids. Um, uh, first one is Topher Justman. He's a junior. And um, Topher is very football smart. And the first day we had camp in the summer, we were talking about the offense, and I would said, I'd like our wingback, because I, I don't want to call formation. I want our wingback to be smart enough to end up where they need to end up. And when the play goes away from them, to play games with their splits and their motions, and Topher caught on that idea right away. And, and that, that's pretty neat, because if you're scouting us, sometimes Topher's starting out next to the fullback and he's motioning out. Sometimes he's split way out and he's motioning back in. All he has to do is, is get to the spot where he needs to be, but I don't care how he gets there. He can go out, come back in, he can start with, I mean, he can do it. And so he's pretty crafty and he's a tough kid um, and, and catches the ball well. The other wing back that um, we've been using, but you know, we may have to groom a little bit, is Matt Moynihan. Matt's just a freshman, so we'll be a little careful, but Matt plays third in our fitness testing, all of our athletes. I mean, for a 145-pound freshman, he had a 190 bench, and he hadn't lifted before we started this summer. He ran 4.6 in the 40, which tied him as our fastest time. Um, he's got a lot of skills, and he runs that counter really well, and I love to run that counter. And uh, just that speed aspect, and he is, he is athletically smart, so he's when he gets the ball in his hands, and things come natural to him. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. All right. Any, anybody else there at that position? No, we've got them spread out a little bit here. Okay. Now the end. Now the end. Our split end, we've been using two, and it's Cody Kutcher. Cody's a sophomore. Um, Cody 
timed like five flat and 40, but on the field, he looks like he's a 4-7 kid. He just has that burst, and you know, some kids, some kids do it during practice or you know, in scrimmage settings really well, and, and maybe they're, you know, he's not a track kid, so timing a 40 on a track might be not his cup of tea, but he sure shows speed on the field. And he catches the ball well, very heady. Um, so, so Cody can play, play that position. Uh, Josh Burrow is a junior, and Josh does a lot of things well. I mean, they're they're somewhat somewhat similar, um, but Josh would probably be a little better blocker at the split. But he runs good patterns. Um, both can help us defensively. They'll both be starting defensively, so. We're looking at sort of trading off position, trading off some time off. Um, the other split end that we would have would be one of the quarterbacks that's not playing. Also give us a great split end, so we've got some nice depth there. All right, good. Tight end. Tight end. We have returning starter in Davy Gruenberg. I got that one right because I've got a Gruenwald on the team too. Um, and and Davy does does a nice job. Nice is also playing tight end, um, and Colton is a senior, and uh, both are tough kids. Uh, I think Davey understands the position better and, and how to put himself in position to make blocks, and I think Colton is just darn mean and tough and going to find a way to get things done. So um, both are going to be successful there. Um, we actually are pulling our tight ends. Trapping with them and leading up the hole and stuff, and both do that really nice. Yeah, I can see those two guys doing that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No more so than perhaps some other linemen. All right. What about your center? Our center, um, a kid that never played center before, uh, but played a lot of football here, and that's Luke Johnson. Um, Coach Strazy and line drills just put the ball in Luke's hands, and Luke has that naturally fast hand. That ball just flies up. Very intelligent interior lineman. So communicates well with the guards. Um, is real level headed, doesn't get over excited. You know, you like people hanging on to the ball, and it's the center of your play. To, to have this demeanor that is good on the whistle, but yet calm and understanding when things are moving around in front of them. Luke does both really well, so that's been a pleasant surprise. Um, we also have Logan Stouffer working there. And my philosophy, you know, you've got to start with the center position. And Logan, Logan could easily start for us in the offensive line. He's starting defensively, um, but he gives us that depth, that center, and and then Logan will will back up our two guard spots also. Okay. What about your guards then? Right now. Um, Mike Rugsiger, I'm working on that one still. Uh, Mike's playing right guard and, and doing a really nice job there. Um, he played linebacker last year, so he's got some foot skills. I mean, he runs real well. He's 265 and yet uh, runs very well. And Mike's, Mike's really stood out in our practices. And then at left guard, uh, Dan Foody, is right there also. Dad, Dan's 250, and um, you know, both are both are doing a nice job in the weight room. They're getting stronger. Um, they've got good feet, good skills. Um, but it gives us a nice threesome in the middle.
You have to set the people backing them up? Well, Logan is the main backup across the middle. Okay. All right, and your tackles? Um, at right tackle, Kyle Pitslin. Kyle's a senior, and he just played defense last year. Um, when Kyle was coming in during the summertime, um, we had the weight room open at 6.30, so some kids that worked and stuff would come in then, and then we had a, we had a lifting class. Um, I just started talking to Kyle about the, the most important position on the field, and that's your offensive lineman. And he bought into it. I mean, he's doing a nice job. And uh, in our schemes, we pull all five linemen, um, depending on what kind of fronts we're going again against on the same play. We could be pulling center and tackle, guards and tight end, um, so we'll pull them in tandems. But uh, Kyle really has understood the position well, and uh, it's they make it makes a nice right tackle. Um, over on the left side um, is Tyler Krause, and Tyler's a sophomore. Um, needs a little more weight room time, but he is a very skilled big lineman. I mean, he's the weight-wise, he's the smallest of them, and he's 6'4", 230. So we've got nice size up front, but they all have nice feet, um, and they're starting to feel comfortable with each other. Backing up the tackles, um, Wes Mulkey. Wes is a senior. He's he's a, he's quite a force too. And then uh, we also have Austin Hebner. Austin's a, a sophomore, and um, Austin ran four eight and a forty twice. He gives us and we we get into a certain thing where we really want to fast pull somebody. I think we'll start utilizing Austin, but we haven't gotten ahead of ourselves. That's his size. Austin's about 100, I think he's 5'10", 5 5'11", 5 about 165, 70. Hopefully he's, he's still eating, but, <laughs> but he did a, he was in our top five in our fitness test as an offensive lineman, um, and, and he was in the weight room, he was in the lifting class all summer long, so, so he's a physical kid. Okay, good. Do we have the offense covered then? We do. All right. Defense. Okay. What kind of, do you have a, a specific defensive plan that you tend to use? Or? We do, and, and it'll, it'll start off with a 4-4 four, four look. Um, you know, on our scrimmage, we're going we're gonna to go against two teams that run spread stuff. So we, we may, may slide into a 4-3 look, and it would be real comfortable, real easy for us to do without changing a lot of, uh, a lot of our rules. Um, we also can, can go to a 5-3 just by dropping one of our inside linebackers and widening in all our tackles. So we'll have, we'll have at least three looks with, with some different coverages. Um, we haven't gotten too far ahead of ourselves. We let kids sort of learn because even if we're lining up in a certain fashion, um, this defense has a little bit different rules to it. And so they have to understand their positions and we're not trying to pick positions. I mean, we are now, but you know, early in the, the, you know, during the first week, we were just letting kids learn defensive positions and stuff. And, um, so the 4-4 look will be what we'll start with. Okay. Let's start with your linemen. Okay. Um, our defensive tackles, um, Mike Musiker.
But the Phoenix are threatening. A running play, 15. Oh, nice job. Wrapped up by 76, Michael Rugsegger. He's going to lose yardage. Oh, nice job penetrating there. Number 76, Michael Rugsegger. Trojans have a lot of players on the line. Oops, confusion in the backfield. They're going to stop him for a loss. Nice job, Trojans. Kyle Fitzland is playing defensive tackle. Slade, hands off Becker. Nice job there, Trojan D. Wes Mulkey is playing defensive tackle. Mulkey. 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 Sounds like get the best players on the field again. Well, all four of those kids are good football players. And we can utilize them, you know, instead of picking one to be going both ways. And, you know, that if, I, I like to keep my offensive line sort of intact for the continuity. Mm -hmm. And then the, those kids can, can alternate some at the, at the defensive lines and get off the field and stay fresh and, um, you know, be ready for fourth quarter, the hot games, those kind of things. It also gives us an opportunity to play a lot of kids and you know if we get uh, if we get uh, an injury where somebody's got to miss a game or, or so we'll have people that have played before instead of you know, we'll have a, a bigger number of kids so I mean, those are good good players for the tackle spot okay those are your tackles yeah. now what do you have for defensive end defensive ends um, Logan Stouffer is going to play our power side defensive end so you're swapping your ends on depending upon how the offense lines up we could, um, and he's sort of learning to play over the top of a tight end. Um, and on the other side, Jackson Sicer, who's got the foot speed and um, can come off the edge, um, we'll let him come off the weak side. And uh, they're both capable of playing either scheme, and, and the schemes are pretty similar. It just depends. I mean, if there's a tight end aligned on them, or if, you know. We're not necessarily going to flop them, mm -hmm. but we could, depending on, on what we see. Quick pitch running to his right, number 10. There, finally stop him. Nice job, Trojans. That's 81, Jackson Seifs are bringing him down with help. Jacob Justman, who's a senior. 
Jacob had to miss a little bit of time for State Fair, and so I didn't get a didn't get a, a look at him early. And when we went into to our contact drills this week, um, he did a real nice job, and so you know he could alternate time with with Jackson over there, so that you know, Jackson's you know, who's going to play a lot of offense, maybe get a lot of carries, isn't going to get worn out. Um, Luke Johnson could play at the other defensive end. <laughs> Christian Matheson. Luke Johnson in the tackle for Dodger. Christian Matheson. right now is starting at one of the corners. Um, we moved Topher Justman from linebacker where he's been working back to corner just recently just to give us a little more depth there. Um, and, and he is a, a he's going to start somewhere defensively. It's just a matter of where we need him at corner or outside linebacker. Down and just earlier in this drive there's a first down gain. Oh! Nice job tackling there, Christopher Justman. Long runs where they were able to break through. Pressure from the backside. Will White can't get there in time. Picked off. Oh, my gosh. There. Um, the, other, the other sophomore that um, has been with our first unit is Tristan Miller. And this is Tristan's first year in football. And uh, he's a very skilled young man. Um, still has to understand the concept that nothing gets behind him. Know, but he has a lot of nice skills, and we are definitely um, trying to get that point across that I would rather have somebody catch the ball in front and we make a tackle and we line up again than to have three great plays coming up and knocking the ball down and one bad play going over the top. And uh, so everybody there is, is getting that impression. We did a little halfback pass on Topher yesterday. Scott Ancy has stepped up, but you know, they need to see that, they need to understand. And so, um, good names, kids with ability, you know, and 
we should be we should be pretty good. Um, Cody right now is actually playing the safety spot. Because of then, yeah, that's where he belongs. Joe Kane could play there also, but all right. Do you have some backups. Um. So did you three, three, three defensive back spots. Did you mention Josh Burrell? Josh is an outside linebacker. Okay. All right. Yeah. So Cody, Tristan, Topher, Joe, okay. Matt. Um, the other defensive back that we're going to use sometimes, our kid at defensive back, will be Jackson, and we'll put him at safety. And then we'll walk him up a little bit and do two deep coverage and let Jackson sort of fill from the inside out as a, as a big safety. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, there'll be certain teams that like to run the ball a lot and it'd be nice to have that force coming from, from that position. We can do a lot of, a lot of nice stuff, stuff with, with him on that. And your linebackers? Our linebackers. Our inside backers are um, fullback type kids. Um, right now, and tight ends, right now Colton Neese is at one inside linebacker. suit is playing defense. He's a very, very tough, aggressive kid. And also, um, he uh, did a great job in our passing league playing corner. So, he, so there's a lot of things we can do with him. And, but, but our first priority right now is to look at the inside linebacker position. Um, along with those two, um, we have Mark Cranky. And Mark played outside, but I, I think he's going to be looked at more on the inside. <laughs> Trojans will get good field position. They can hold him here. Set up a screen pass over on this side. Hold on to him, and he does. Nice job fighting through the block there. That's number 30, Mark Creaky. Andrew Mountain, another one of our fullbacks moving into that inside linebacker. And um, also Brandon Ketter. And Brandon, uh, Brandon had our second best bench. And he's just a little sophomore. You know, he's 5'7", 165 pounds. And, but... Um, He's impressed the last couple of days when we've been doing some contact things, and uh, so he's going to get he's going to get a look, I think, uh, and it'll be very good for us that we have that much depth that we like there. Our outside linebackers, um, Josh Burrow is at one. Josh Burrow and a host of Trojans. We were gonna, and we still could use use Topher out there. Um, Topher Justman at the other one. Davy Grunberg is playing outside linebacker. He'll probably start off in the scrimmage, and Topher will be at the corner behind him. Oh, For the Marshman, pitch out, 86, wrapped up around the five. And then uh, Matt Moynihan will play outside linebacker along with Derek Simney. So Derek, Derek is a junior, and Derek's 5'10", about 140 pounds. Doesn't, uh, 
doesn't impress you when you look at how much he has to bring, but when we start doing things, he brings things hard. He's a tough kid. So. Yeah. All right, so guys that were out last year that didn't hear Lee Mountain, is he out? For He's not out. Okay. He had uh, a concussion in football, huh. so that can't go on. I mean, okay. But he also had it snowboarding. Okay, so he's not fine. Uh, All right. Brandon Kluge. Brandon Kluge. Same idea. Okay. Got hit with the baseball this year, along with having him. And I don't. I don't know Brandon is. All right. Special teams. You can be a kicker. Well, right now Colton's been been kicking well. Colton, Colton Meese. Nice. Um, and. Uh, We've also had some others that have come out and, and kicked. And, you know, I think I think Colton's our top choice right now. Um, that doesn't seem to be um, something that's real natural with the kids we have right here. There's a, there's a few ideas for recruiting purposes that the kids and I have talked about. So we'll, we'll hold that thought for another episode. <laughs> All right, punter. Punter Topher's been punting. It's nice to have a skilled kid as your punter. He, uh, you know, they can slide and move better on, on snaps that might not be right down the middle. He, he gets to punt off real quick. Um, doesn't have an overly powerful leg, but he's been very consistent. And he's just going to get stronger as he kicks and goes along. But um, we, uh, we put in our, our punt team. That was the first special team that we put in. And we put that in uh, this past Tuesday. And they did a very nice job. And Dan Foody was our, our long snapper. We've been working with Dan, and, and the ball comes back very nice. And Topher fields it, and we get it out of there quick. So, uh, so far, so good. All right, returning kickoffs. Well, I like to have fast guys back there. Jackson, safe sir, probably be back. <laughs> Do something in the final 235 of the half. Good deep kick. It's going to be fielded by Jackson Seifser. Tries to get outside. Gets free. Now he reverses his field. He's got some blockers down there. He's at the 30. He's at the 40. Still on his feet. He's all the way out to midfield. <laughs> Same guys for uh, punt return? The two we had back right now are uh, Joe Kane and Cody Kutcher. They seem to be very comfortable fielding the, yeah. the higher punts. And First and foremost, catch the ball. Catch the ball, yes. Yeah. You know, kickoff is not quite the same pressure right. as catching a punt. Yeah. All right. Um, assistant coaches. Um, when I when I saw this position open, I called an old college friend of mine, Tom Selker, just to see if uh, what he knew and, and if he's still interested in staying on staff. So Tom is our defensive coordinator. It's his 20th year coaching in, in Dodge and I at Dodge and High School, and um, I was I was very pleased that Tom was gonna gonna stay on, and, and I think he's excited also. Um, he. You, I think if you would nick Tom, he'd probably bleed purple. Um, he loves the kids here, and he, and he, and he obviously has a, has a background on community and families and kids that, that I would never be close to having. So Tom is one assistant. Um, John Johnson, who was on staff last year, um, you know, 
is back, and, and John works with offensive linemen and linebackers. John had some playing experience in college and has been very valuable to us also. Um, our last guy is uh, John Strazy. John coached at uh, Lake Mills the last six years, uh, originally from Johnson Crick. And um, John has an offensive line background, and that's what I was really looking for is, is two guys that had the offense and the young, so we had a, a balance in our staff. And that had some some college playing experience, and John, John also played uh, played some junior college ball. But I mean, that's where we need our interest. That's that's where the game is won. And so we have those two gentlemen doing that. And Tom and I are taking the skill positions. All right, good. So, what do you see the conference shaping up or your season unfolding? I've been asked that one a few times, you know, by the newspapers and that. And um, I had not, I, at Waterloo we. Played Oshkosh Lourdes, um, played Partyville non conference. Um, Deerfield had been in our conference earlier years. We played Marcus Annual, so I'm familiar with co their communities and things like that. But I'm not real familiar with all the returning starters, and you know, we'll worry about one as we move along. So I'm probably not as versed on, you know, I, I know, you know, Partyville, Deerfield. Oshkosh, Lourdes, the, the Trioc with Montello, Princeton, Green Lane. I mean, they've all had good football these last five years or so. I think the conference has become much more balanced than it had been previously. Yeah. And I, I can see the conference being being a little top-heavy with with good programs. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so, for me to pick one, I, you know, that would be hard for me to do yeah. a pick two. But it's hard to pick unless somebody's fully loaded. Mm -hmm. Anyway, everybody's starting out for day one. All right. Um, first game is Houston Sport. First game is Houston, yeah. What do you know about that? Um, again, they used to be in our conference years ago, but you know, a lot of things have changed. They, uh, they've got more kids out this year. I have a friend on their staff. And sort of chuckled when we're both new, so we talk a little bit, and uh, um, they're having they're having a good good camp. Uh, I know that was one of one of our wins last year, um, but uh, I'm sure they're starting out. I don't uh, I don't know for sure they're all their returning personnel. I did look at a roster and stuff. I know they have a one lineman that's that's big and very good. Uh, Prepare for them like we will everybody else, and try to try to look at what they do and get ready. And All right. Well, anything else you can think of that you would like to say about the upcoming season? Yeah. Not a whole lot. You know, you've got the questions. I'm just happy to be here. I, I'm I'm very comfortable um, doing this, uh, giving an opportunity. Uh, I, I just, I just come. I take my, my little drive over, and I feel real good on the way, and I'm, and it goes fast on the way home because it's it's been a lot of fun, and you know, the kid, the kids are really good, and our attendance has been almost perfect. We uh, we've been having a lot of fun at practice. We've been working hard, and uh, I'm looking forward to lining up against some of the better teams in our conference. Oh, all right, good. Good to have you here. Thank you. Thank you.